In this video, we'll provide you with an introduction to some of the key features and capabilities of K2 SmartForms, the latest offering from K2 that provides a browser-based design environment to build forms that can be used and reused across multiple applications. Easy access to information in your systems is a key reason to build forms, so the new K2 Smart Forms Designer includes the ability to create K2 Smart Objects directly in the browser. With K2 Smart Objects, you can create business entities that provide you with read and write access to your company's important information. K2 Smart Objects can be created so that the information is stored in our SQL-based data store, or can be integrated with your existing line of business systems so that data is stored and updated in its original location. In this example, we're creating a new employee entity with the data stored in our back-end database table. Once we've set up all the properties for the entity, we can create associations between our employee object and other entities such as department. This allows us to display related information properly on our forms. The K2 Smart Forms Designer provides you with several ways for creating forms based on your existing K2 Smart Objects. One way is to automatically generate a view, which allows you to create a form and sections of the form for listing and editing data. In this example, we'll generate a form based on our product Smart Object. We'll generate the form with a section known as a view that will list all the existing product data and another view where we'll be able to update or add new product data. As part of the wizard, you have the option to automatically create a .NET based page that will display your form in a browser. Upon clicking OK, a page named Manage Products will be created and a view called Products List, another view called Products Form will be included on the page. Once created, the Manage Products page is opened in the Page Designer in Layout Mode so that we can modify the design of the forms and views as necessary. We'll change the titles of the views, and we'll also change the style to use a different theme. The K2 Smart Forms Designer allows you to modify the layout and look and feel of your pages and forms directly within the browser. In this example, we're going to modify our existing products form view to remove some of the fields we don't want displayed and to modify some of the fields so that they are easier to read. The K2 Smart Forms Designer comes with several out-of-the-box controls, like this Ratings control, that can be used to enhance your forms. But you can also extend the available controls with custom controls that you build. We'll round out the changes we're going to make to this view by removing some of the buttons that we don't want to include and updating the layout to remove some of the extra space. Once the changes have been made to a form view, any pages that include that view will be automatically updated so that the changes are reflected properly, as we can see here when we open the Manage Products page. Once you've built your form views, they can be used and reused across multiple applications. 
To make it as easy as possible to display your forms, the K2 Smart Forms Designer provides the ability to create web-based pages that can host one or more form views. In this example, we'll create a new page to manage new orders. We've already created several form views that we want to drag on the new page. After dropping the initial form view on the page, the design canvas will update when dragging over any subsequent views to highlight the different areas on the page where the view can be dropped, giving you full flexibility in designing the page layout that works for you. The design environment also provides access to several properties that you can change to update the appearance of the page. We also provide several themes out of the box that can be used to modify the appearance of the page. These themes are fully customizable and can be extended to include custom styles and style sheets. Accurate data capture is key to any application, so we make it easy to set up validation on any field in a K2 smart form. In this example, we want to ensure that an employee's email address is entered correctly, so in the form designer, we'll select the email field, and in the validation properties window, we'll select the appropriate validation pattern we want to use. K2 Smart Forms comes with a number of common validation patterns that you can choose from, but you can also edit or create new patterns based on your individual needs. Once the pattern has been selected, we'll need to set up a rule on the form so that a validation check is run when the form is submitted. To do that, we'll switch over to the Rules window where we'll select the rule that will run when the Create button is clicked. We'll set up the rule so that the submission of the form can only occur if the form passes the validation check, and we'll then configure the specific fields on the form we want to validate. In this case, we want to set the email field to be validated, and we also want to make sure that it is populated with data. Now that the rule is configured, we can preview the form to see if our validation rules are working appropriately. We've marked the email field as required, so we'll see if we click on the Create button without filling in an email, the field is highlighted and an error message is displayed. If we then enter an invalid email address, a new error message is shown explaining that the format is incorrect. Once we enter a valid email address, the form is able to be successfully submitted and the new employee is added to the employee data. K2 Smart Forms also have the ability to set up cascading dropdowns, allowing you to filter data in one form field based on data selected in another. To do that, let's use our new employee form as an example. We have a field on this form for hometown that we would like to filter based on the region selected above. First, we'll change this field so it uses a drop-down list control. Next, we'll update the data source for this list so that it uses the city smart object we've already configured. We want to filter the city information, so we'll also select the option to filter based on another controls value option, and we'll select the region dropdown. Now we can run the form to see how our changes are working. We'll pick Asia Pacific as our region, and we'll see that our city dropdown displays cities in that particular region. Changing to a different region will automatically update the choices available in the City field. One of the more advanced features available in K2 Smart Forms is the ability to open a subform when an action occurs in the main form. In this example, we want to open a subform that allows us to update product information when we click on an item in a list of products. To do that, we're going to edit the Products List Form View. We'll switch over to the Rules window and create a new rule called Edit Product. Next, we want to select when the subform is opened. 
We have several options to choose from, but for this example, we want the subform to open when a method is ex executed on the main form. The method we want to use is when a list item is double clicked, so we'll select that from the available options. We want this to happen all the time, so we won't set up any conditions. On the Actions page, we'll select the option for opening a subform and executing a method so that the subform will open and will populate with the correct product information. We already have an existing Update Products form view that we'll use as the subform. We need to configure that subform so that it executes the load method to load the details based on the ID of the product that has been double clicked on. Now that we've finished the configuration of the subform, we can run the products list form to make sure our logic is working properly. Double clicking on an item in the list opens the update product form and displays the correct information. We can now make changes to the information and save the updates. Back on the product list, we can see that the updates have been automatically reflected in the list. Once you've built your forms using the browser-based K2 Smart Forms Designer, you can use them across multiple applications, including solutions that integrate with line of business systems, SharePoint, and workflows and other business process-based applications. For more information about K2 Smart Forms and to sign up for the upcoming beta program, please visit www.k2.com smartforms.